I was the Long Island reporter for about four years. I had just gotten this job in 2009, in the fall of 2009. I grew up in New York City and I went to high school in the Bronx and I knew all about the five boroughs and I, I was familiar with New Jersey, but I've honestly never really been to Long Island more than once or twice in my life. And I got hired by Channel 7 and they gave me the Long Island job. And so it was interesting because I had to kind of learn it. And I was working every day with a photographer named Tony Saturno, who was my partner and is still to this day the Long Island photographer, has worked for this company for decades. Really smart guy who knows every inch of that bureau area. It's important to talk about where these discoveries happened. They happened on this completely deserted stretch of, I think it's around 15 miles long. It's the Ocean Parkway, and it's just basically a road and dunes on either side. And here and there, there are little villages. Gilgo Beach is one of them. Oak Beach is another. Tobey Beach is another. And in between them, it's just nothing. There's the ocean on one side and the bay on the other side. Some of them are real surfers' paradises, and, and, they, and, and people do go to them, and they are beautiful in the summer. Every other time of year, it's basically deserted. And, you know, it's beautiful during the day. At night, it, you know, there are no streetlights. And if there is traffic, you, you can hear the traffic coming from probably a couple miles away. And you can see the lights because it's just a long stretch. You know, it's an ideal place for a serial killer to do this. We were out in Suffolk County on a regular garden variety day. We were doing, a, I think, a live shot at 5 o'clock in Suffolk County, maybe 5.30. We were on our way back, and we got a call from the desk. There's a crime scene. There's a maybe body discovered way down south on Ocean Parkway. Go check it out. Everything on that barrier island is a solid 10 degrees colder than it is anywhere else. It's just cold and windy and punishing and just, just raw. It's pitch black, and there are four crime scenes along the beach. You know, every, you know, maybe 30 to 50 yards or so, there was another crime scene vehicle and spotlights set up, and then another one and another one. And it was clear at that point that it was something. It was maybe 6.15. The news still had 15 minutes left. And we were going into weather and sports, and we wouldn't usually do a kind of come up with breaking news, but the producers said they wanted it, and so we set up to do a live shot. The producer of the 6 o'clock news, Zaheer, who is still the producer, told me he remembers that live shot. I remember a 6 o'clock newscast trying to get him on. We went to the story, and if you notice, the graphic wasn't even properly set up when we went to it. It's just at the very last second, okay, I see Josh up there, let's just do it. We're following some breaking news right now. A body has been found in Oak Beach. Breaking news, Liz Cho says we're you know, following breaking news on Long Island, a crime scene, a body's been discovered. And police believe there may be other bodies out there. Liz remembers that. Everyone remembers that live shot because it was really messy on the air. The producer had gotten in my ear from the control room to tell me that breaking news was happening on Long Island. So there was this urgency to get to Josh to establish that live shot. We were having technical problems. We have a signal. We don't have a signal. We have a signal. We don't have a signal. Apparently we've been just been told that we have lost our live shot. That happened several times and then finally once we had signal we tried it and it failed. And we're going to try to re-establish our live shot with Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger. As soon as we do we will bring you much more on this breaking news and we'll have much more coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock as well. The signal dropped out and they didn't have us and then she had to kind of ad-lib. She and Bill had to ad-lib their way into a commercial break. Bodies buried at the beach. Charming. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes. This story was not like a regular breaking news story. It is not every day that you hear about human remains, several bodies in an area around here. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger, he's following that breaking news uh, in Oak Beach. We want to return to him right now. Josh, what's up? They finally came to us and we did this live shot. This is the barrier island to the south of the town of Babylon, an extensive search that goes on for a good mile along the bay here south of the town of Babylon. You could see crime scene investigators there, and then, Tony, if you want to come back out, you could see behind me, and then clear up the beach right here. As he's describing what he sees, I am trying to zoom in and show the public exactly what's going on, the crime scene, the officers, the detectives, and showing the distance of the vehicles to show that it's not just condensed into one small area. It is covering a large area of Ocean Parkway. We know right now that they can confirm in the last couple of days they have found two 
bodies. We didn't know anything at the time. All we knew is that there were, you know, human remains found. We didn't really know what. There had been the discovery of human remains two days earlier on the weekend that we'd gotten tape of the crime scene, but we hadn't really covered it all that extensively. We believe skeletal remains, one on Saturday, one today, and we're told possibly more uh, remains, the remains of more bodies on the beach. We'll continue to follow us throughout the night. A full report on Eyewitness News tonight at 11. Zaheer told me something fascinating. He said he just knew he wanted to get it on the air because to him, it seemed like something big and that he would regret not jamming it into his newscast and not figuring out how to do it. Remember this discussion during weather, is it really worth again trying to go after it? He being the sarcastic person I am, I said, with my luck, it's gonna end up being a serial killer. So let's do it. But for now, we're live on Gilgo Beach, Josh Heinecker, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. All right, Josh, thank you. Keep us up to date. It was kind of ironic when the signal dropped out twice that this mystery, this murder mystery, mass murder mystery, really, we knew so little about it and we couldn't even get the signal up. It was sort of like some indices that says, you don't know anything about this. I've been covering Long Island for quite a number of years, but we never realized that when we pulled up that night that over 10 years, it would still be an ongoing crime scene. And it ended up being the first report of this global story, this unbelievable true crime mystery that really persists to this day. Oak Beach tonight, looking more like a gruesome cemetery. On Saturday, a canine unit on a training exercise here uncovered the first body. Investigators trying to determine if the skeleton belonged to a young person who was reported missing earlier this year. When search teams returned to the same location today to look for more evidence, they found instead three more bodies stuffed in these brushes. I don't think I was ever prepared for what it was going to look like when I got to Gilgo, how truly isolated and eerie it was going to look like. Police discovered three more bodies yesterday at Oak Beach, a remote barrier island popular in the summer. I was new to Channel 7, I was from Texas. It was the most cold weather I've ever experienced in my life. Like, it sliced through me. All of the remains were stuffed in the bushes along an isolated strip of waterfront property. I think we got there at 2 o'clock in the morning after they found the first three bodies. And even though there were a number of crews out there, it still seemed very, very isolated. You just could not make up the story. You could not make up the weather, just the entire environment at the time. It was, it was just spooky. It was really spooky. Whenever I think of this story, I just think I'm cold because it was so cold. We're here at the scene of this very disturbing discovery over the past couple of days. The day after that first report, I actually drove out and met Tony there and it was really cold and there was snow on the ground. Four bodies uh, just in the last couple of minutes we have seen just off in the distance a cadaver dog that was brought out here really in the last 10 minutes to continue the search because police do not know if there are any more bodies out there. And that's when I remember the police commissioner saying for the first time the words serial killer. We're looking at that. We're looking at that that we could have a serial killer.